Today, we take rolling luggage with us everywhere we travel. They take the heavy lifting out of a trip, so it feels more like a vacation. These hard shell rolling bags start with polypropylene pellets. They add a small amount of colored polypropylene pellets to the uncolored ones. They'll act as a dye for the batch. They mix and melt the polypropylene pellets into a thick blue liquid. Then it's over to the injection molding system. The molds close and a nozzle injects the liquid polypropylene. The molds are equipped with a cooling system so that the polypropylene hardens almost instantly into a lightweight yet durable material. A pile of pellets becomes half of a luggage shell in mere seconds. A robot transfers the molded shell to the next station. He now screws the service handle into its molded slot. This handle is for those times when the traveler has to lift the bag by hand, upstairs or onto a baggage belt. These triangular molded parts are the side feet. They'll keep the luggage upright. He fastens them onto the base of the shell. It's time to close this bag. He adds the other half. He threads a steel rod into hinge holes to hold the two shells together. Next, they mold wheels from nylon. A robot transfers the wheels to another part of the mold. The mold closes and a nozzle pipes in hot liquid rubber to apply it to the rolling surface of the wheels. The rubber adheres to the nylon and solidifies. They attach two wheels to a polypropylene hub for stable swiveling action. A factory worker now inserts an extendable handle. Then, working from the inside, she screws the handle to the luggage shell. She reinforces the connection with a metal bracket, ensuring that the extendable handle will hold fast, even when the load is heavy. She plugs the wheels into their slots in the base of the luggage. She secures them with screws. This bag is now mobile with 360-degree swiveling action.